What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy and today I just want to start the video off by saying Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be like a little bit of a vlog style. just want to kind of set it up right here. Um, I'm going to be going over the steps I'm taking to make 2021 so much better than 2020 because as we know 2020 was a lot. Um, so this year I decided to you know control what I can can control, um, be more intentional with my goals for the year, write down, you know, manifest. I'm trying to get into all of that good stuff. So I've just been writing down my personal goals. Another challenge I've set for myself for 2021, I wanted to start the year with a 24 hour fast. Now I have another video on my channel about intermittent fasting. I have been intermittent fasting since April of 2020. So almost nine months i've been intermittent fasting um so yeah i just figured i wanted to start this year with like a clear mind detoxify my body so i'm going to just challenge myself and do a 24-hour fast this is not my first time doing a 24-hour fast i did one a few months ago in 2020 i don't remember the month exactly but i can put my little screenshot somewhere when i completed that first 24-hour fast so i have done it before I thought it'd be a great way to start the new year. When you all see this video, it is already going to be 2021, but right now it is still 2020. Today is December 31st. It is around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I have about seven hours left until this year is over, until I start my fast. So yeah, I'm going to be checking in with you all periodically. Um, I'm going to eat my last meal pretty late and I'm gonna start it right at midnight because I want it to be midnight to midnight so I'm gonna eat my last meal pretty late um, and then instead of you know the usual champagne toast or whatever toast you do at midnight for New Year's I'm just gonna do nothing just celebrate um, the new year I know sometimes people will drink like black coffee or tea I'm not really a coffee drinker and I don't really drink tea when I fast I just like to do water fast so I'm only going to be drinking water and like I said, I'm going to check in with you guys as it gets closer to midnight as we bring in the new year. I'm also going to just kind of go over some of my goals really quick for 2021. Um, I just want to really focus on walking in my purpose, whatever that may be, because I'm still growing, still figuring out what my purpose is. Um, and whether that's, you know, growing my business, I do have my own business. I have another video uh, pertaining to that on this channel as well. Of course, I always want to have the goal of growing this YouTube channel because it's my baby. I really stepped out on faith and started this channel because I was so nervous, but it was just like, if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. So that's always in the back of my mind. Um, I've also outlined goals for myself for 2021 and growing my personal career. I am like in the sports industry, um, sport business management. So that's another area where I'm just hoping to grow in 2021, just really writing down step by step what I want to do to achieve my career goals beyond my business, beyond YouTube. Um, I was doing so much talking. I had my journal in my lap and I forgot to show you guys. So it just says grow with the flow on the front of it. This is the journal where I've been writing all my intentions, my manifestations, my goals, everything I want to accomplish and achieve for the new year. This is where I've been writing it down. Me personally, I just believe there is power in writing things down physically instead of just keeping it up here or typing it on the notes app on your phone. So it just, it just really feels powerful to take the time to sit down and to make a physical list and write out everything that you want to accomplish. So that way it just feels real to me that way, you know? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys my journal and I will now sign off for real. <laughs> All right, so I just wanna go ahead and check in with you guys. It is currently like 10.52, so almost 11 o'clock, it's almost midnight. Um, I'm about to eat my last meal of the day. Like I said, it was going to be a pretty late meal since I want to start my fast right at midnight. So I'm going to like destroy two turkey burgers 
and I'm probably gonna make like a little side salad with it and hopefully that'll see me through to January 2nd. So I'm gonna eat that and then once it gets a little bit closer to midnight, I'm gonna drink a little bit of wine at like 11:58, 59, as close as I can get it because I'm not gonna drink right at midnight because I'm gonna start my fast right at midnight. Like I want it to be midnight to midnight, like on the dot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll officially start my fast. But I just wanted to check in with you guys one more time from 2020. And the next time you see me, it will be 2021. <laughs> Good morning everybody right now it is almost noon january 1st again happy new year i'm about halfway through my 24 hour fast and just a little check in on how i'm feeling right now i'm feeling fine because i usually fast for 12 hours every day anyway but i'm sure that second 24 second 12 hours i'm gonna maybe feel some effects but as of right now i feel fine um like i said uh last night i'm not going to be doing any like strenuous workouts because I don't need any extra, you know, stress today since I'm not eating. I'm just drinking water. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill day. Um, I have my gallon of water for today, especially because I'm not eating. I need to really focus on upping my water intake. That way I don't, you know, have the possibility of dehydration or anything like that. So I'm gonna try and finish my gallon for the day. But yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill day. I'm probably just gonna Right now, um, I was about to say eat, but I'm not eating. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna watch Netflix, just chill out, something like that. And then later on tonight, I'm just gonna be watching like the college football playoff. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys later because that's boring. You don't wanna see me watching Netflix. <laughs> but I'll check in with you guys later just to kind of go over in depth my um, my journaling that I did for the new year. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. All right, time for another check-in. Um, as you can see, I have the Alabama game on behind me. It is uh, around like 4.30 p.m. Eastern time right now. So I have what, like seven and a half hours left of my fast. Um, mood, uh, I feel fine. Um, in terms of hunger, I could definitely eat right now. But luckily I have ugh, this gallon of water. I'm a little under halfway done with my gallon for the day. Um, the water definitely helps get rid of like that empty feeling in your stomach so you don't feel as hungry. Um, I've heard other tips, people say like brushing your teeth helps um, like suppress your appetite too whenever you're doing a fast. But right now the water's helping no, so I don't feel so empty. Um, it's kind of hard to think about eating when I'm going to the bathroom like every 30 minutes because I'm drinking a gallon of water. So I'm, yeah, have, I'm going to the bathroom a lot right now. Okay, and then I also have like my journal right there. So I said I want to kind of go over some of my goals and achievements I want to reach for 2021. So I'm gonna flip y'all around real quick so you can see that. Right, so I have like 10 written down that I wanna, you know, accomplish, just work on um, for 2021, okay? And then along with those um, things I have written down in my little bulleted list, I also have a 2021 mantra, and that is desire, dedication, and discipline. Uh, the three Ds, that is actually not my idea. I heard it from Terrell Owens. So shout out to Terrell Owens, T.O. I heard that and I was like, that is perfect. I'm gonna take that with me into the new year. In terms of what I wanna do with my YouTube channel, I do have a, I've been planning content. I know I was gone for a few weeks, um, but I have been planning some content. So I have a lot in store for 2021 for my channel. Just hopefully continuing the growth, it's growing way past my expectations i'm really happy with the progress that's been made with my channel so you know it's only up from here 
Um, I have my goals, my business, Pepper Ave, which is body care. So right now it's bath bombs, um, soaps, and body butters. I can put that link in the description as well. Usually it's always there anyway, but I am have some more plans that I'm not really going to announce just yet in order to expand my personal business. And then as always, I am wanting to continue to find my purpose in terms of my career. Like I said, I am in sport business. So that's another one of those um, goals. Alright guys, it is currently 12.30 a.m. January 2nd, I made it. I just finished eating some um, shrimp and rice. I'm probably gonna get a second bowl because I'm so hungry. But I want to come in and check in with you guys earlier, but I was watching the <laughs> college football playoff. Ohio State has made it go Bucks. That's on O-H-I-O, -O, okay? So I was a little preoccupied like I was watching the game and I was like I'm so hungry yep I'm like can this game I was like okay the game helped me get to midnight so yeah so I finished I finally ate made it 24 hours all in all based on like just on mood and things like that I'm gonna tell y'all from 5 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. that was the hardest hour it was like 5 o'clock forever I was like oh my god I'm so hungry like I just felt so empty and like the water wasn't helping me like feel full anymore. I was like, oh my God, please. So I tried to like take a nap to help the time go by. And that only like was like 45 minutes. I was like, please. So the football game helped some time go by. But yeah, I, mm -mm. like I said, I've done this before, like back in August, a 24 hour fast. I'm not gonna do it again anytime soon because it is a test of like true mental strength and toughness because I was going through it those last four or five hours. I was like starting to feel a little like, I don't wanna say dizzy, but like lightheaded. Cause I was like, maybe I was like standing up too long. Um, yeah. And I did end up doing some light yoga. When I say light, I mean like, not even 15 minutes of yoga. Um, but yeah, I did start to feel kind of like really weak towards the, the like 10 o'clock. I was like, woo, I started to feel it. So like when I tell you when the clock struck 12, I had my plate in the microwave already. I was so hungry. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna do another 24 hour fast for a few months because that is too intense and I can people do with like not drinking water so I don't know how people do a 24 hour dry fast without even the water um, I don't see myself doing that anytime soon but yeah it was a good test for myself I later what do you know focus today clear my mind went over my journal with you guys all that good stuff um, again go bucks <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed this video um, and as always don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Peace.